Hi, my name is Lana Yaroj, and I am an assistant professor in computer science and engineering at the University of Minnesota. I want to ask you, what do you think is the biggest public health crisis facing the world today? What predicts mortality the most? Maybe you think it's cancer. Maybe you think it's substance use or smoking. Maybe you think it's HIV. What if I told you that it was loneliness? Loneliness is a bigger predictor of mortality than any of these other things. And we have a problem on our hands because people are reporting feeling lonely at greater rates than ever before. For example, in the United States, 40% of people report feeling chronically lonely, which is up from just 20% in the 1980s. So as a computer scientist, I ask myself, how can I help? I am a computer scientist who works to understand how people want to connect with each other, and then I invent cool new technology to help them do that. So one example might be recent work I've been doing in space to help families that live apart stay connected. For example, many parents don't live together with their kids because of divorce or separation, because of military deployment, or even because of incarceration. So how can we help them be parents and just be spending time with their kids even if they're not living in the same household? One of the systems I built uses a technology called augmented reality to make them feel like in their same, they're in the same space. That means that I take camera content from one space and I project it in the other space so that families can do things like reading together, drawing together, playing board games, even if they're not in the same room. They can feel like they're sitting together even though they're apart. At the core of my work is this idea that we should never use technology to replace in-person interaction, but maybe it can help fill some of the gaps when we're not currently connecting. And I think that's a research area that can use a lot more work and that we should be investigating in the future.